Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to translate reports based on the configuration like let's say the user profile or based on the partner profile. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to translate report and if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel under the playlist. You can see Odoo development playlist. There are different types of playlist available related Odoo with different topic wise with the real test cases and if you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that repository we have some social media pages make sure you can also follow to get the latest notification and let's back to our main topic today like how you can translate reports based on the user or the partner profile preferred languages all right and you can see this is the special playlist with the real test cases with the different topic wise translation related topics available here you can also visit this one so here so first let's go to the student profile here and we are trying to let's say print this report the custom student card right and this report we already customized the header footer and all right you can see here this is the english language right now and you can see right now it's display in the hindi language right why because if you see here in the created by is the mark demo user right so let's go to the settings users and here you can see the preferred language is here hindi right so here only you can see the name is display hindi language but you can see here this labels also it should be changed right but it's not changed at the moment why because preferred language right now it's a english if i will switch to hindi right and click to save button now if i will try to reprint this report you can see here it's a display in the hindi language too right so here we will try to add based on the based on the user who created the record based on that preference languages we want to translate that report automatically okay so first thing is we will try to do the same thing so for that let me create a one more new module here let me minimize this one also right this one we created this one so let me copy this file and paste here let's say second something like that and here you can see this is the custom header and footer part but right now we, we are not using this custom header and footer all right so we are using our existing header and footer for the set okay so here let me also add here let's say second let me copy this one paste here and i will try to add here one more template like this that activity dash call and here we can use the html container all right after that we can use here t desk for each and that one that should be this one let me dock right so instead of this dock i will use here o okay after the t desk set and here i will use i will create a new language type of the field and here i will use o dot who is created this record right so based on that based on that i'm using that language only right after that the t t desk call and here we will call this id here but for that like we can we have to use here the module name and here simple i will pass t desk lang 
all right and i will simple pass this land variable and it will automatically call this template now i will use here instead of this html container we can use here external layout all right and here i will try to add activity desk set like that o as an object because we used here the o right to get the single record set and we can just override why because we have to translate this o the preferred language as based on this language all right so for that o dot with context and here i will pass like lang equal to lang so this is the parameter right and this is the variable name which we created here this one after that we can remove this part we can remove also this part and another thing is we can also remove this layout and another thing is we are using here all right so each and every doc we created here right so we have to replace that part also doc and we have to replace with all all right so we replace this part and now we have copy this file and we will try to register this file in this manifest file all right and now simple i will try to upgrade this module using this terminal okay if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained everything okay so successfully you can see it's upgraded without any error all right let's go to the user profile and let's refresh this page now you can see there is only two reports available right so i guess we didn't also change here the id if it is a same id it will override so due to that like it's not displaying the front end also okay and let's go to the front end part and refresh the page now you can see the third one is available and once i will click oh so we have some error so our user object has no attribute as a land okay so this is my mistake here l a n g land all right i will try to refresh the page again one more time and i will print the report now you can see it's display as a sitaraman and based on the user profile so you can see this mark demo still have this hindi language right okay now what we have to do is we have to go to translate here and we have to click to this generate machine terms in arabic sorry the first thing is hindi okay and meanwhile you can see last time we already created this i18 and these two po files this one is the arabic and this is the hindi language right so all the data we already have only the thing is we we are using the new template and the content is also the same all right so it's already reuse the same translation we don't need to again rewrite the same thing in this po file okay it's done now i will print this report now you can see okay 
the Hindi language. Now let's say what about the Arabic language, right? So for that, like let me go to this profile and change the user preferences in Arabic for this mark demo. And you can see here the created by this record is mark demo. So it should be print in Arabic language, not in the current user preference language. Right now we are using English language, right? So you can see still it's display English language. Why? Because the translation terms we have to like regenerate. Update. Let me close all this video stuff and I will reprint this report. All right, so you can see it's translated in the Arabic language also. Okay, so this is the main thing here based on the user or the partner preferences you can also print. Now another thing is let's say if I will switch to the like created by this Odoo bots right and if I'm going to here in the users okay and I will use this unactive users and Odoo bots you can see the language right now for the Odoo bots is English US right so if I will print this report it should be printed in English only. Okay. Now another thing is, in case I'm changing the preference languages as a Hindi, right? For this Odoo bots. So now onwards, you can see right now this is the Michelle admin, right? This is the different user. The current user is this one and the preferred language is this English, right? And I will try to reprint this report. Now you can see it's display in Hindi language. Okay. So like this way, you can try to print dynamic way based on the configuration using like this like the the first thing is you can create a new template right not like it is not compulsory always you can create a separate template from this one you can create a same single template also the thing is you can use the first thing is this web.html container inside the container you can call this external layout right and that external layout before that external layout you can let's say use this for each like how the record set it's having a, as a docs you have to extract one by one then after you can call that method uh, call that external layout template or you can use like this the first thing is you can set the language like this right lang then after here you can i'm i'm using here user profile right the object the create underscore uid and in this profile having a lang language right and that language having a specific code so based on that code it will automatically translate the report another thing is when you call the template here simple you have to pass that language variable using this t dash lang okay this is the predefined attribute in odoo site qweb template and that variable we can use here to override the object the current object language all right then after you can leave to odoo it will automatically translate one language to another the specific language if it is available it will print otherwise it will print english la english version only okay so this is the only thing we didn't change anything in this layout also except we created a new uh, report action and the new template only okay so only the thing is you can pass out you can create your own language variable you can pass out here and just simple you can override your object using with context as a language
okay so that's the thing only and then after the translation part automatically handled by Odo you don't need to do anything another thing is if I'll go to here like let's say mark demo and Odo bots right I will try to generate the report now you can see now you can see it's this this record set this student jethalal created by mark demo and the preferred language is arabic so due to that it's display in arabic right and we use the ramu chacha right and odubots it's using the preferred language is hindi so due to that it display the hindi language content okay so like this way also it's working you don't need to worry about anything okay so this is the main thing here based on the configuration uh, user profile or the partner profile or even in your custom models you can also use in your custom models you have to compulsory add a language or let's say the language code and that one you have to pass here okay so that's the only thing rest everything is the same and translation part automatically handled by the Odoo. So yes, if you have any doubt related to this topic, please comment below and see you in next session.